friends and family. I just wanted to start this video off with a little bit of information. Otherwise, it would be kind of confusing and weird. So, the last thing that you saw was Tuesday, November 8th, which was the Disney World uh, Mickey's Billy Merry Christmas Party, right? So the next day, November 9th, Wednesday, I went to Epcot. It was pouring rain. The weather was getting ready for its hurricane that was going to start uh, early the next morning. I lost my umbrella, had such a stressful day trying to get a hotel room for that night because my flight was delayed. I had to get two more nights and it, it was like a big old mess of a day and I filmed it all but for some reason my SD card decided not to work. I'm not sure what happened. It's my newest SD card. I don't know why um, I have literally just that whole day missing. The camera was acting like it was recording, but it wasn't, I guess. Anyway, long story short, I don't have anything from Wednesday, November 9th. So the next thing that you guys are going to see is the next morning on November 10th, which was basically the very, very tail end of uh, Hurricane Nicole. But I'm so, so sorry that I lost that for you guys. I will do a brief description of Wednesday. I went to Epcot. It was pouring rain. It was really cold. All day I was trying to get a hotel for the next two nights because my flight was delayed. So that was extremely stressful because I was just trying to get any Disney hotel or Good Neighbor hotel, but they weren't booking any hotels at that time. Um, but I, I did end up getting, after all that, six hours of calling and holding and whatever, I finally ended up getting to stay at the same place, the All Star Music Resort, uh, for the next two nights. But for some reason, they weren't helping anybody for hours. It was really stressful. I think that they maybe didn't know what to do or were afraid to book rooms, but they said they were saving it for people like me who were already staying at a Disney resort and they were holding rooms so that I could stay there longer, but for some reason it was really, really hard for me to get a room still, so I don't know, it was a little bit confusing, um, but yes, the next thing that you guys are going to see is November 10th, Thursday. See you in the next clip back in Florida, and if you're wondering where I am right now, you guys will find out in a few days. All right, bye. Good subtropical storm morning, everybody. But it looks like it's getting better. It's 9.45 a.m. and they just finished putting all of the lounge chairs out in the pool. They had them all tied up to the palm trees there. So it must be getting better if they're putting the chairs out. I guess the worst of it happened while I was sleeping, so that was, you know, between like 5 a.m. and uh, 9 a.m. I may not have seen the worst part of it though, but you know who did? The three caballeros. I'm sure that they saw many things last night. Maybe they'll talk. You think they'll talk? Let me know what happened. So she's pretty windy outside. I don't think I'd want to go out there right now. There are people walking around, but they're just going over to the food court, probably getting some breakfast. I don't think I want to go driving anywhere just yet, but let's see if the parks are open. Alright, so it's official. The parks are going to open today. There was a band on the bottom of the screen last night with an alert going saying that there is... Um, the parks were going to be delayed opening, but they weren't sure when, if at all. But now, it's Thursday, November 10th, 9.53 a.m. And it looks like Magic Kingdom is going to open at 12 p.m. noon. Epcot at 1 p.m. Disney's Hollywood Studios at 2 p.m. And Animal Kingdom at 1 p.m. So that's good. I'm sure some people are... Maybe not too happy about that because it looks like there's a Christmas party tonight at 6 because Magic Kingdom's opening. I mean, it's closing at 6, so that means there's a Christmas party starting at 7. Some people might be upset that they didn't get the morning to be at the parks and you pay the same price. I wonder if Disney will be accommodating anybody for that. You guys hear that? I 
when I checked in last night at the front desk, they did say that they gave me a disaster discount on my room for these next two nights, but it wasn't noticeable. It was the same price, even actually it was a few dollars more than what I paid for the first non-disaster nights that I was here, the first three nights. So I said, oh, I thought that was a disaster discount. And they said, yeah, 15%. Oh, but you pay more when you pay at the front desk and not online. And there wasn't an option to pay or reserve rooms online. So, that was kind of funny. So, was it a discount? Not really. I paid the same price. But, you know, that's okay. I wasn't expecting a discount. So, I was just happy to have somewhere to stay. Look at his water pistols are blowing backwards because of the wind. It's pushing the water back. As you can tell, I just woke up, so I'm going to wake up a little bit more, and then I will update you guys with how the rest of today is going to look. The sound of the wind. So I'm guessing they're probably going to open the pools around noon, actually. They're probably just cleaning, getting it ready. So the news is saying the improving weather is from 9 a.m. to noon so I guess we did miss the worst of it but there is still a storm surge warning so I don't think it's really safe to go anywhere till at least noon we'll we'll check it out at noon but it's 10 o'clock now and there's actually lifeguards at the pool I am feeling so sorry for them to have to stand out there nobody's gonna go swimming right now so I don't know. They have those little umbrellas. I'm sure they're not doing much. There's a big gust of wind. It just knocked over that lifeguard's umbrella. But there's actually people in the pool now. But yeah, people are out getting food. So it is looking better. It's just pretty nasty wind right now. And I was just watching the news and there is quite a bit of damage on the coast. Now that's kind of sad to see. But... I haven't heard anything about injuries or, you know, the unfortunate fatalities that could happen in storms. So hopefully, you know, there's still time, I guess, for those numbers to happen. But I really am just praying that that doesn't happen. The wind is blowing so hard that the rain is just hitting the, the window here. It's actually coming in almost completely sideways. I think they opened the pool a little bit too soon. I just watched the lawn chairs go a little bit crazy. Alright, it is 12.50. I think I'm going to venture out to get some coffee now. I don't know why, but the coffee in my room tastes funny. I don't know how to explain it, but it just it has a funny taste to it. I don't know if it's from when it was cleaned or what, but it's a good excuse to go get some coffee. So let's go out. Let's get outside, yay! Look at all the people out. Everybody's getting cabin fever, I think. It actually doesn't even seem like it's raining right now. It's just windy. By the way, I'm in the Calypso building and I think it's adorable. The toucans and the monkeys. Still planning on doing a resort tour for you guys. I'm actually supposed to be at the Polynesian right now, but that didn't happen for obvious reasons, but maybe I'll still get to make it over there at the end of this, by the end of this trip. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not supposed to be here after like five o'clock today. I don't know. See where the day takes us. The fountain water isn't moving around like it was, so that's a good sign. Okay, yes, obviously I'm in the car. I think I'm ready to go out. The wind has definitely calmed down. It's still windy, but nothing extraordinary. And I think I just need to be careful to watch for flooding. Um, but I'm not going to go very far, just a few miles. So I think it's safe. And um, they didn't really have anything I wanted in the cafeteria. And things are open. Like I checked the character warehouse. I want to go by there again. And uh, that's open. So there's also First Watch. I'm going to go to First Watch right now and get that delicious coffee and some breakfast. I'm going to try something different this time. But 
it looks it looks pretty good so I think I'm making a sound decision by going out again you know it, some people might tease me when they see this I don't know because is, is it a big deal is it not a big deal I, I don't know I, I'm from California like I said where we don't have storms it barely sprinkles like twice a year so <laughs> I, I don't know what the right thing to do is except for to just use my own judgment and my judgments telling me it's okay just watch out for flooding and I think we're good to go all right we're looking pretty good so far there's the Mickey antenna thing okay so I'm back at first watch my new favorite place I'm at a different location though this one's in Champions Gate it was closer to the hotel and this, the Warm Wishes, I realize now is a seasonal menu, she told me. So I'm actually going to go for the barbacoa breakfast burrito. It's got savory braised beef barbacoa, scrambled eggs, freshly seasoned potatoes, seasoned black beans, cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. It's got a lot in here. Wrapped in a grilled whole wheat tortilla covered with red chili hollandaise and topped with lime crema. House made pico de gallo, fresh smashed avocado, cajita cheese, and cilantro. So, I'm gonna go for it. Let's see how it is. I am at a different location called Champions Gate, first watch. So, it's fun trying a new one, but look at outside, it's looking pretty good. Everybody's out, things are open, I'm, I'm feeling good. The storm went pretty quickly. The hardest part was actually before it really hit, when I was at the park. Um, Let's see when was that Tuesday night and Wednesday for Epcot that was the hardest for me I was freezing and wet all day so this is actually perfect I get to look out the window it's really really beautiful outside right now actually With my nice warm coffee comfortable food is on the way couldn't be happier right now cheers to a good morning So I think I'm feeling better too because I'm a lot less stressed out now that I know I have a place to stay, I you know, know what flight I'm going to be on, um, I do have the car rental now for another 24 hours, I called Alamo and took care of that. Uh, the last thing I have to do now is, is call my work, <laughs> so save the best for last. Ooh, look at the sky is moving so fast. You know when birds are in the air though, I did just see a bird, I haven't seen the, a bird in the sky for a while. But if birds are flying, you know it's good. Alright, my food's here. There it is. Isn't it beautiful? And I got the hollandaise sauce on the side. And no pico. So, that hollandaise sauce actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna just try it out, see if I like it. Oh man, that is so flavorful. That was really big by the way. I'll probably eat like half of that. Alright, I'm almost at the halfway point. I just wanted to show you guys a better cross section. <laughs> That black bean just couldn't take anymore. He's like, I'm out of here. I have never liked hollandaise sauce before in my life. I like that. It is delicious. I am so shocked that I like that, actually. I am very impressed. So I decided to explore Champions Gate a little bit. Seems like a very nice area. Looks like that sign got a little bit messed up during the hurricane. I just like driving around looking at houses, especially new construction. So I found this place, the Enclave. I'm just gonna go drive into it, see what it looks like. It says they have townhomes from the 300,000s. Oh, I just drove past a sign that says it has a mini golf course. All right, sales center is straight ahead. Keep going. <laughs> Kids water park. What? Beach volleyball court. Trees look so spooky right now. Phase four. So there's different phases and it look like looks like the different phases have different like these are straight up houses right here. These are not townhomes. I see a sign to the left, Glen at West Haven. The Glen. Single family homes. Oh this is fun. Why why is this so exciting for me? It's because I'm in my thirties, isn't it? Like, ooh, I get to drive around and look at houses. Yeah, I'm also very into architecture though, as well. So that's part of it. Okay, sorry for the wind noise, but the sales office is closed. But they do have two models here. There's the Badland. 
It's a clear door. Let's just peek through the front door, shall we? Why not? Oh, it's so beautiful. I love the color of the floor. The hallways are nice and big, which I love about newer homes is the walkways are a lot wider. And that's really awesome. If you look at homes that were built in like the 60s, 70s, even 80s, the hallways are a lot skinnier. It's just kind of claustrophobic. Yeah, it's very pretty. And this is the Duval. It's a lot larger looking than the other one. Absolutely gorgeous. You can tell that the living room in there has really high ceilings. So a lot of stuff is open, but it looks like this place is closed for the tropical storm. And they'll open back up tomorrow. So I'm going to try to go stop by the townhomes now and see if they're open. I'm guessing not. I think they're connected in some way, so they're probably all closed, but it's fun looking anyway. I'm at the sales office for the townhomes, and it just says that they are currently away from the office. We can go visit the models on 1405 and 1409 Discovery Street. So let's go do that. Let's go check it out. All right, here's the models, the South Court and the Laurel. All right, let's start with the South Court. Ashton Woods. So I guess it's just gonna be open. This feels really weird. Oh no, it's not open. So I guess what they mean is that you um, can't go inside, but you can look at the outside or just at least look through the window. And here's the other one. This one's nice. Like, I kind of like how you can see just the, the water behind you with the lily pads and the willows instead of just another building or another condo. That's cool. And get some cool birds back there too, probably, I'm sure. Oh, sorry guys, I thought that would be a little bit more exciting. I thought we would get to go inside. It's starting to rain again, by the way, but let's go see what else we can find. I think what I love about Florida is that there's just so much space and open air and it's so green and beautiful but yeah I mean California is beautiful too it just kind of depends California is so big like Florida it kind of just depends on where you are <laughs> so there's definitely beautiful parts but yeah I don't know where I live it just feels it just feels kind of small but maybe that's just because I'm so used to it and I know where everything is and it's not as exciting as it could be or it used to be. I thought this was really weird so my rental car there's no gas cap I guess I think you just stick it in here yep it's interesting I've never seen that before I had to stop to look at these birds these things are like four feet tall yeah, and there's more of them down there walking in the marsh, getting some grub. I'm either in Four Corners or Champions Gate still. I think I'm in Champions Gate, but there's this wonderful place with a bunch of different gated communities with cool uh, names for the little communities. Just think of the Shire, Mr. Frodo. I just finished marathoning all of the Lord of the Rings movies, so that one was still fresh in my mind. <laughs> so, I was very entertained by that. Hey guys, Future Panda here. So I did not film an outro for November 10th, Thursday, in Florida. If you're wondering where I am now, I'm filming the next video series that I'm making for you guys. I'm very excited about it. The only thing I will tell you is that I am at a national park. I've never been here before and I can't wait to share it with you guys. The next video that I'm going to put out after this one is going to be the last day I'm in Florida, which is Friday, November 11th. I'll explain a little bit more with what happened uh, with the hurricane and uh, all the footage that I lost, but I'll see you guys then. Till next time. Bye.